In this video, we'll try to understand how to solve the examples on second law of thermodynamics. So let us see the problem statement over here. So a heat pump working on a Carnot cycle takes in heat from a reservoir at 5 degrees centigrade and delivers heat to a reservoir at 60 degrees centigrade. The heat pump is driven by a reversible heat engine which takes in heat from a reservoir at 840 degrees centigrade and rejects heat to a reservoir at 60 degrees centigrade. So with the help of the flow diagram, we'll see this particular statement. The reversible heat engine also drives a machine that absorbs 30 kilowatt. If the heat pump extracts 17 kilojoule per second or 17 kilowatt from 5 degree centigrade reservoir, we have to find out what will be the rate of heat supply from 840 degree centigrade source and the rate of heat rejection to the 60 degree centigrade sink. Now this example we have taken from Mumbai University question paper, December 2017, question number 3A. Now the data which is given over here is, so T1 is given as 5 degree centigrade, T2 is 60 degree centigrade, T3 is 840 degree centigrade and we have converted them in Kelvin. Now let us see the block diagram over here or flow diagram over here so that we can easily understand the working of this and we can easily solve the examples over here. So as you can see over here, we are having heat pump and heat engine. So the heat engine is receiving the heat from the reservoir which is maintained at 1113 Kelvin and it rejects the heat to a heat sink which is maintained at 333 Kelvin. So the work that is developed by this particular engine, some part of it is utilized to drive the heat pump whereas some part of heat is utilized to drive some machinery. So we can apply the energy balance for both this particular pump as well as for the heat engine so that it will become easy for us to solve the examples. Now the heat pump is having the sink at which is maintained, the heat pump is having the source which is maintained at 278 Kelvin and sink is 333 Kelvin. Now applying the energy balance equation to the heat pump. So as you can see, just we have to concentrate on this particular heat pump as a thermodynamic system. So incoming arrows to this will be equal to the outgoing arrow. So Q4 is incoming arrow, W2 is incoming arrow and outgoing arrow is Q3. So then W is equal to out of the total work that is developed by the heat engine, some part is going as W1 and remaining is going as W2. So we can write down the another equation as W is equal to W1 plus W2. So this is separate equation. Now we'll apply the energy balance to this particular heat engine. So incoming arrows is equal to outgoing arrows. So I can, as you can see over here, incoming arrow is heat supplied to the engine and outgoing is out of that particular heat supplied. Some amount is some amount of that particular heat is utilized in producing the work and some amount of the heat is rejected. So we can say that Q1 is equal to W plus Q2 or Q2 will be equal to Q1 minus W. So the heat that is rejected from the heat engine as well as from the heat pump is Q2 plus Q3 to this particular heat sink which is maintained at a temperature of 60 degree centigrade or 333 Kelvin. So heat rejected to this particular sink is Q3 plus Q2 but Q3 already we have seen that Q3 is nothing but Q4 plus W2 and the Q2 is nothing but Q1 minus W. So all these particular things will be required while solving the examples and therefore we have explained it earlier so that it will become easy for us to understand the example. Now for heat pump the coefficient of performance is given by T2 divided by T2 minus T1. So we'll get the coefficient of performance of this particular heat pump then applying the energy balance just now we have seen that so q4 is given as 17 w2 we don't know and q3 also we don't know then coefficient of performance of the heat pump is also equal to the heat that is rejected to the sink divided by work so substituting these values and rearranging the term so we can cross multiply by this w2 over here then transfer this plus w2 term on this particular side so that you'll get the value of w2 as 3.3636 now you can say that w is equal to w1 plus w2 that we have already seen so w will be equal to 33.3636 so the this is the work that is obtained from the heat engine now for heat engine the efficiency is given by t3 minus t2 divided by t3 that is temperature difference divided by the maximum temperature so substitute the values so you'll get the efficiency of the heat engine as 70.08 percent 
now efficiency is also equal to output divided by input that is work done divided by heat supplied so you can say that q1 will be equal to w divided by efficiency so just now we have calculated the work that is developed by the engine and efficiency so we'll get q1 that is the heat supplied to the engine from the source is 47.607 kilojoule per second now rate of heat rejection to the sink is equal to q3 plus q2 that just now we have seen in our flow diagram so just substitute the values so this is the value of q4 that is 17 w2 we have calculated q1 is 47.607 and w is 33.3636 so this is the heat rejected to the sink at which is maintained at 60 degree centigrade thank you very much for watching